let's continue with the dom topic this will be part 2 section inside this we are going to see the third topic that is more about dom we are going to see one practical example a simple kind of project where we will see how to open a new tab and practically we are going to understand the difference between js and dom after opening a new tab after 3 seconds i just want to close the tab by itself now practically we are going to see this project i have opened my visual studio code and also i have opened the path inside my browser now first what i will be doing i will be writing simple html now here i will write head and inside head i am just going to give the title title is js versus dom so inside this session inside this simple project you will understand the practical difference between js and dom below this head i am just going to write body body let me just write the same thing js versus dom i will save this and here i am going to refresh i will be getting the heading now what i want whenever i click on the button i want new url has to be opened in the new tab and also after 3 second that tab has to close by itself so i'm just going to create one button and inside this button i will give click me i will refresh this now here i have this button so whenever i click on this button new window should be opened so for that what we are going to do we are going to write javascript now i will come down i will be writing here script tag inside script tag first i am just going to create the function function open tab whatever name you want you can give i am just going to write function open tab if you want you can use fat arrow function as well but as of now we are going to use this normal function inside this function first i'm just going to create one variable let url is equal to i have already pasted i will be copying here inside this i am having this link i'm just going to copy this link so this link is my new youtube channel where i have uploaded videos regarding excel so if you want to learn more about excel you can go to my youtube channel and you can watch the videos related to excel this link i have assigned to this url variable now below this i am just going to create one function now below this i will be creating one variable open new tab is equal to now what we are going to do we are going to write open method now what this open method will be doing it will be taking three arguments let me write here open first argument is our variable then we have this target string features okay this you don't have to worry i will write here url second i am just going to give here empty which means i want to open the link in the new tab and finally third i just want to give the width and height of that new tab I will just write here with with I am just going to give around 900 pixel comma I will give here height height also I am just going to give 900 pixel whatever width and height you want to give you can give it depends completely on your choice so this is our open method which will be taking three arguments first is the URL directly i have assigned this url link to this variable i am passing this variable here second where i have to redirect the link as of now i want to open a new tab so i have just created this empty string then third argument we are going to pass is width and height so the new tab which is open it will be having 900 pixel of width and 900 pixel of height i will save this now when i click on this it is not going to work i will refresh again when i click on this it is not going to work because inside this button we have not added any javascript yet so what i will do i will just add here on click event is equal to this function 
this on click event will be equal to this function i will just paste it here now i will refresh i will click on this you can see new window is opened and also my new youtube channel is opened inside which i have uploaded videos regarding this excel and this window size will be 900 pixel width and 900 pixel height now automatically it should close after 3 seconds so what we will do we are going to use set timeout function now below this i am just going to write here set timeout inside this set timeout function we can give the timings this set timeout function is provided by dom api okay it is not provided by javascript and also it is not a part of javascript this is provided by dom api if you have not seen the video regarding dom api i have already uploaded the video in my youtube channel first you can refer what is dom api then you will understand this project in very simple way so this set timeout is provided by dom api and inside this we will give the timeout as 3000 milliseconds that is 3 second after 3 second i just want to close that window so this will be the syntax for that here i am just going to write fat arrow function and inside this fat arrow function we are going to pass two argument here let me just give here comma second argument timeout function i will give here 3000 which means 3 seconds this will be 3000 milliseconds which will be equal to 3 second now inside this set timeout function what i want to do after 3 second the tab which i have opened i have to close this tab now the good thing is we have created this variable and inside this variable we have assigned this open method so now this variable will be treated as an object and it will be having all the properties and methods available to it let me save this below this i will print here lock lock open new tab save refresh this and in my inspect whenever i click on this button this new tab will be opened and also inside this you can see this open new tab will be treated as an object and inside this we will be having all the properties and methods related to it so easily we can use one method that is close method so directly we can assign to this open new tab i will just write here open new tab dot close okay directly we can assign this method we do not have to create separately like this as we have already assigned as we have already created it will be treated as an object using which it will be having access to all the properties and methods so we are just passing one close method here i will just remove uh, comment it out this is the simple code we have written now this open method is provided by the windows so to access this we can directly write like this and also we can write like this window dot open i will save so now again when i click on this it will open but after three seconds it will automatically close this you can see the window will be automatically closed so using the set timeout function we can just give the timings and we can close the window now most probably you will be thinking everything is a part of javascript but to your surprise it is not this set timeout this timeout this close method this open method this everything is not related to javascript it is provided by dom api so dom api will be giving access to javascript giving access to functions which are provided by dom api it will be giving access to that so that javascript will get access to dom and it can manipulate that one so that is the reason it is just included in javascript but it is not a part of javascript so then what is this javascript so in this code 
where is our javascript the function is this function is javascript variables we have created it is a javascript we are ending the statement with semicolon that is a javascript we have this closing braces opening braces this is all part of javascript so you can see here how dom and javascript are useful to make our projects so without javascript we cannot use only dom and without dom we cannot use javascript so both are connected with each other so that we can get a proper result if we are not using any one of this then our websites will become useless our projects will be displayed in interactive way only when js and dom are used together i hope you understood the difference between javascript and dom and also what functions are provided by dom api next we are going to continue with part 3 session